Welcome to 5 Minute Friday, everybody, where we share our best tips and tricks to help you get just a little bit better every single day. All right, Eddie, what you got for us? Uh, in my hand. It's a I, sticky note. I have a, t it's not, a, okay, it's, it's a, a sticky, it's, it's a, a pink a sticky. Pink sticky note. And it has on it <laughs> written five things that are very important. For who? A young steel detailer. <laughs> or, or perhaps. <laughs> Anybody else for that Any matter. young person <laughs> who's trying to do a thing in this industry. Yeah, uh, so yeah. I've written down five things that I feel will transform lives. Stop everywhere. holding your hand like that. It's okay, freaking fine. me out right, a little okay. bit. All right. So, here you go. Jeez here. Louise. All right. Come on. All go right. So first one. Yeah. Uh, when you start in yeah. a company, all right, all through school, you're, you have to study, right? Like you do, you do extra things that after you get done. That is typically to, what you to do. Learn. That is typically what you do in okay, school. Okay. And then we get, yeah. and then we get to work our first job. Uh-huh. And we know nothing. And many times we turn those study habits off. Yeah. Right? That's Yes. And I get it. It's a long day. But I'm not giving these to you to be like a so-so steel detailer, a so-so project manager. I'm saying if, if you would like to achieve and grow and push forward and outpace your peers, then take initiative and study. Mm. Like do the work. Read the AISC manual, go through it, learn it, get to know it. Yeah. Know like AWS, go read D11, go read D18, go like know how to read a general notes page. Know the profiles for goodness sake. Yeah. You know, I mean, don't, don't be the person that asks like, well, which is the flange and which is the web six months after you've started. Don't be that. Don't be that. So take initiative and study. All right, number two. Ask questions. Ask questions. <laughs> uh, number two, uh, don't, don't succumb to whiner culture. This one I would say could be very detailer oriented, but I also could see that just depending on the culture of your company or the culture who you're talking around. about, like drinking wine, like what you whiner. Want. Don't be a whiner. <laughs> don't be a whiner. W H I N E. W H I N E. Ah, okay. Don't Winer. be a whiner. Like don't, don't, dive into this whole complaint culture yeah. right out of the chute, yeah. right? You're young. You hadn't really been through all that much yet. You don't have anything to complain about. Just learn, just grow. Yep. Don't start there yeah. in your career. I made that mistake. I, I know, I know I made that mistake. And it was completely off base because I would say, these are the worst drawings I've ever seen, bro. You've only seen like three sets of drawings. Yeah. Calm down. Like you don't you don't know what a bad set of drawings is yet. You're you're parroting what you're hearing around you. That's another thing too. Yeah, and it watch was that. Unfortunately, me and Dad a little and bit too sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, We're you, honest. okay. So you hear the old guys, <laughs> older guys, sometimes legitimately complain about something, and then you're like, ah, oh, that's what we do here. Yeah, we complain. Yeah, I, you know, hear they're venting, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to say. Give it a minute before you start participating in that. No, yep. no up from down. Yep. Um, know when it's time to complain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Stay humble and learn from your checker. Okay. <laughs> so anybody who's been put in a position where they're looking over your stuff, let's yeah. say you're an estimator with a general contractor and, you know, you got to have your estimate checked. Well, be a big boy, be a big girl and... Make it a learning experience. Don't turn around and just get uppity with them when they pick you in something. Or if they have questions, answer them in a way that is like, oh yeah, I did that for this reason. Was that correct? And then go ahead and, and hear them out before you go firing back at them, all right? They're not trying to impugn your honor. They're not trying to tell you you're dumb. They're just checking you because you're a little newer. Hey, know where you're at in life. You are newer and you don't know everything. And there's a lot of risk in you making a mistake. Say thank you and learn. All right. In my best Robin Williams genie voice, rule number four. <laughs> All right. Rule number four is I want you to shoot for excellent. Okay. Not just good enough. Okay. I think that's another one that's kind of cultural. That yeah. it goes with the whole whiner culture thing, yeah. but don't get yourself in a mode where you're just like, well, it was good enough. It was good, <laughs> good enough. Good enough for who it's for. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Shoot for excellent. Yeah. Like hold yourself to a bar that's higher than good enough. Hold yourself to a bar where you're like, no, I'm going to be excellent at what I do. Go that extra that way when somebody picks at you, you, you can, 
I think handle that with a little more humility and say, okay, yeah, that wasn't excellent if you're picking at me. Yeah. Yeah. So don't, don't set the bar low, set the bar high and go get it. Mm. Um, rule number five <laughs> and my last rule for the day, though they are not exhaustive rules. They're just five are they, I thought are they, of. And is this the best rule or is this like the, the, the worst rule? Like how, this may be the one that okay. rubs people the wrong way the most. Ooh, spicy. Ooh. What's he going to say? What's he going to say now? In a world, <laughs> in a world <laughs> where everybody says you shouldn't work too much. I am going to throw this in, put the time in, mm. put the time in. I don't know how many hours I worked as a young person, but when you think about something that you attain excellence in, say a guitar or an instrument. Yeah. What's the rule? Practice. Practice. How many, uh, you hear the 10,000 hours? 10,000 hours. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. What you're doing isn't going to be any different than that. Mm hmm you're not going to just snap your fingers and all of a sudden be experienced. Like you're going to have to put the time in. Yeah. And when you're young, you have to paddle a little harder than the guy that's older to keep up with the pace. Yeah. Go on and paddle a little harder. You're putting the hours in, you're getting the reps in, it's going to lighten up. You're going to get better, but you got to knuckle down to keep up while you're young. Yeah. I, I really do think there's something to that. Knuckle down and try your best to keep up with the crew that's a little older than you around you because eventually that time will have its effect, right? Put good reps in. I'm not saying practice junk. Practice well, you know, and I think you're going to get a payoff from putting some time into this thing. So yeah. that I think is maybe a little bit contrary to what a lot of popular talking points are mm -hmm. these days, which is, you know, I'll work less, work less. We need yeah. a 30 hour work week. I'm right. like, yeah, it takes more 30 hour work weeks to amass experience yeah. than a 40 hour work week, period, the end. So work, work hard, be yeah. there while you're there and work hard, get that experience. It is valuable to growing you. Keep your head in the game. Keep for sure. Yes, yeah. Definitely. No, I, I, I definitely think this is, uh, I mean, this is applicable for steel detailers. Yeah, of course. But uh, guys, like, come on, you know, the parallels here, like yeah. there are parallels throughout our entire industry for these sorts of things. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Reading the AISC manual. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not necessarily uh, beneficial if you're a project manager. Go read IBC. Yet. There, there's a lot of other things out there. Get familiar with the ocean. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Take, like, I mean, take, take your yeah. OSHA courses. Take hey, like the whatever. time. Improve, develop, grow. Always be growing. Always 1% right. better every single day, right? That's, That's what we want to promote. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Go build something awesome. <laughs>